It's so dark, I can't. I can't make my way through. I look down, yes, 
I still have my dad's leg. of this. We don't want to go that way. Huh? Maybe there's some kerosene left. That's not creepy or anything. My heart rate starts to slow as I take in my surroundings. These woods are not how I remember them. You're creepy. You're kind of cute. Can't go this way. Not yet, at least. The village I grew up in isn't far. I remember camping here as a child, just Dad and I, him laughing at his jokes, me not laughing at his jokes. This place feels weird, like it's sick. Missing posters. I hope they're okay. The paper feels brittle in my hands, like one spark would make it burst into flames. Missing campers. Apple unlocked at campfire. Do I <laughs> One solid torso, arms weak, four sturdy legs, a good call. I scan what it says. Authorities are investigating the disappearance of local teenagers Betty Jean O'Dell and Harris Gorky. Camping in the woods is prohibited until further notice. Also heal you. Good. I know I shouldn't go off the beaten path, but actually I should. Things are fine. Also probably a good way to get killed. The campsite! I call out for help and my voice dies alone in the crisp winter air. Only silence brings me back.
this does not look good. Gross! This has been hanging here a while. Did one of the hunters leave it? What a waste. It's fresh this time. These people need to seriously clean up after themselves. Wait, what? Oh god, a head! A human head! on fire. Stay focused, me. Still a long way from home, and that thing's still out here. What's this? Uh, hungry. I'll feel better if I eat something.
can't expect to find much ammo out here. Better use it sparingly. This is where I'm going to stop episode one. Whew. Okay, good start. Her nerves are rattled, but I know what to expect a little bit more now. Alright, let's pick up in chapter two. For me, anyway. <laughs>